Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to DayZ Standalone. This has been a very popular, long-awaited game for a very long time ever since Arma 2 has released it. You guys know I've got, gosh what, 45 to 50 episodes of the DayZ mod on my channel. So, I knew that I couldn't pass this up. I had to check it out. Just to kind of see how things are, if there's a big difference on it. People were asking me to do like first impression videos of it, of how I think, you know, what I think about it, um, if it's worth the purchase or not. I can tell you right now, there's more buildings to actually enter through versus the old uh, Daisy. I can tell you right now, this one wasn't part of the ones you could actually enter. What was that? A defibrillator? Take defibrillator into hands. That's something kind of new. And obviously this game is in like some serious like... Ooh, can I actually take that beanie? Oh, I sure can. Whoa, gosh, the controls are a little... Take red beanie. I've just got to like learn the keys and stuff on this one now. But uh, I can tell you right now that getting into a server is a lot less painful. You pick a server, double click it, and you're in. Apparently, I guess dying and stuff is not as painful either. Looting doesn't seem to be that bad. Um, let's see. I don't know what my... Oh, so tab, I guess, is my loot. So there's the beanie that I'm already wearing. I am thirsty. I don't see any other... Oh. Can I do anything with that thing? Nope, I guess not. You also have the ability to punch now, too. If I hit spacebar, I can actually like, box things now, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so I guess that could be a good thing when we're fighting zombies. I have not yet encountered a zombie. This is my very first time playing Inside DayZ standalone. So you guys are seeing it as I'm playing it for the very first time ever. So... My first, uh, yummy. My first zombie encounter will be with you guys. Oh, what is this? Another beanie? Man, there's an abundance of beanies in this place. What is this? Take canned beans. I'll take that. See, the looting is so much easier. You just push the F key and you loot it. There's no more having to hit, like, this weird inventory thing. What is this? I'll take that. See, that is so much easier. They should have done this before. I mean, I already like it just because of the looting. You guys already know a book. The Three Musketeers. Nope. nope. What is that? Uh, some clothes. I don't care about the clothes. He's wanting to drink something, he's telling me. Um, but you guys know from my previous videos that that was one of the biggest reasons why I hated playing DayZ was the looting. The looting was horrendous in this game. Like, I hated the inventory style of things and... Can I... Oops. Can I open the door? Maybe? Okay, I guess that door does not want to open for now. But yeah, as I was saying, man, the looting just, gosh, that was such a turnoff to me. Like, I hate to compare this game to other games, but for example, um, like other zombie survival games, like uh, War Z, for example, or Infestation, you go to it and you hold E and it loots. If they would have uh, implemented that in a DayZ, I probably would have had a lot more fun with it. DayZ is an awesome game, don't get me wrong. I just could not stand the looting system in it whatsoever. I am definitely fumbling with keys right now. I'm not too sure why. It seems like things are kind of... Maybe my mouse is a little too sensitive. Because it seems like I'm whipping things around. I don't know. I'm assuming that my problem... Whoa. See, like right there, for example. I barely touched my mouse. Ooh, nice. Drink soda. Come on. Ah! Get me back. You are already using something he's telling me. It still says I'm thirsty. So can I just pick this up?
Says I'm already using. Oh, what was that? It says drink. Let's see, where is it? If I put my cursor over it and I click it. That is really strange. I see drink soda. Says we're already doing something. Like I said, I'm going to kind of like tinker with controls and stuff for a minute here. Until we can kind of figure this stuff out. Because right now I feel like I'm like fumbling keys. Can I do anything with that? No? See, it says we're thirsty. I don't want to pass up these vicinity. See, I can't take that drink. It says it's a uh, Zaluda Classic Soda. Drink it. I wonder if it's bugged. I feel like having a drink. Uh, trust me, there's a soda like within our reach and we can't drink it right now. <laughs> that soda must be bugged. Which kind of sucks because our dude is like really thirsty right now. But there's definitely a lot more buildings that we can get into now, which is really cool. I am definitely going to have to tweak with some controls here. That's for sure. I feel like I'm, like, having a hard time with them. And I think a lot of it has to do with my mouse sensitivity. I just... Whoa. I just hope I don't have to, like, slap somebody with my can of beans. <laughs> I'm about to slap somebody with a can of beans. Can I, like, get that out of my hand? I don't want to inspect it. I just want to, like, get it out of my hand so I can box. Can I box, or do I have to, like, have the can of beans in my hand? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Inventory. Uh, can I put the can of beans not in my hand? Hands. Take that at out of my hands. Oh, I would drop it on the ground, wouldn't I? I don't want to take it in. I wonder if my inventory is full. That's probably what the deal is. Alright, we're just going to leave it. Stupid can of beans. I just need to... Oh, maybe that's what our problem was with the soda. Is our inventory was full. Let's go back to the soda and see. I think it was back here. Wasn't it like right here? Oh! Hey, what's up, dude? Hello, man. Hi. How you doing? He's gonna, like, axe me in my head. <laughs> I think we'd better leave. I don't have a way of defending myself, and he's got an axe. <laughs> I don't know how to push the talk, either, so sorry, dude. I don't know how to say hi to you. Let's see, uh, talk. Uh, El Taco. I don't know how to talk, but I would slap him in the face with my can of beans, but he's got a freaking lumberjack axe, and he'd destroy me right now. I think that dude swiped my soda. I think it's safe to say that he swiped my soda. <laughs> well, that's... I have to say that was our very first friendly encounter in DayZ. Normally, people probably would have hacked me up and, you know, mailed body parts to my family, but, uh... He was actually kind of nice and said hello. Oh, did you see that? You can actually freaking hurdle fences now. Oh, this is freaking amazing. Oh, that is so awesome. That just made this game worth it right off the bat for hurdling fences. Hurdling fences is what just made this game awesome. I love this game already. <laughs> What is that? Is that an MRE? No, that's a book. I thought that was an MRE. I need a drink desperately. Is there a drink anywhere? I need a drink bad. Before I die of thirst. Yes, I know I'm very, very thirsty. 
there any drinks in here? Hello? Hello? Has anybody got a soda I can borrow? No? No sodas? How about in here? Hello? No sodas? No. No sodas in here. Oh, at least opening and closing doors is a little bit easier, too. Wow, we got like one house left to check here for a soda. Is there a map function yet? No, I'm sure it's probably just like the original. You gotta find the compasses and the maps and all that fun stuff. Yeah, we're doomed. <laughs> Still no soda. The one soda I found, I was probably full and didn't even realize it. That guy with the lumberjack axe probably took it. Hmm. Maybe we're gonna have to... Uh-oh. No message received for 13 seconds. I don't know what that means. Maybe that means we're gonna get disconnected. Who knows? I wonder if this is the exact same map as DayZ. As far as if we can get to the airport and fly the helicopters and all that other stuff. I have a feeling we're gonna get disconnected. I have a very, very strong suspicion. Can I hold the button and... Oh, I can still hold the button and spin around and look. At least they kept all the really cool factors of the game. As far as the controls and stuff go. Oh boy, what do we got down here? We might have... Watch, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to get all the way to this building and it's going to like crash. The servers are going to reset. But as I was saying earlier, the game is still in some like serious pre-alpha. And they even give you a disclosure before you buy the game to let you know that, hey, you are directly supporting this game. So spending your hard-earned $30 on this game means that you are directly supporting it. And they are continually going to patch it and make it better. Because as of right now, it is a you know, it's an incomplete game, which means it's going to do things like that. <laughs> I told you! Gosh dang it! I knew the second that I was going to get to this building that possibly could have had loot or possibly could have had a drink. It was going to do that. Didn't I just tell you guys that like not even a minute ago? <laughs> Alright, well. I'm going to actually wrap this up on that note. I hope you guys enjoyed the very first episode of Daisy Standalone. If you guys are excited for this series or want to see more Daisy, take a second, click that thumbs up button to let me know you guys want to see more. If I get a good amount of likes and views on this video, I will throw another one up um, the same day and then more over the weekend if this is what you guys would rather see since, uh, you know, Daisy was very popular on my channel to begin with. So let me know in the comments below, leave it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys hopefully next time. Have a great day, everybody.